All right, YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I want to show you guys how to make a very nice and simple progress bar UI for your Roblox game. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, this can be used for many things, obviously health bars. Um, this can be used for a loading screen, anything like that. So let's start off with a new layer. Hit the new layer button. I'm um, gonna go to my rounded rectangle tool right here. So click and hold and you can go to this tool. For the radius up here, you want to set this to around 60. Your film is gonna go white and stroke is off. So this option right here, the first one, now we're just going to drag out our little bar as you can see nice and simple very easily and now i'm going to right click this layer and go to, into i'm going to go into blending options right here now i'm just going to hit gradient overlay and the mode is normal opacity is 100 uh, i'm going to take that off now for our colors we're going to select a gray color and double click right here and right here i'm just going to select a darker shade so we have it we have something like this right here okay now v1 you can add a stroke this part is up to you nice little stroke it could work fine okay perfect and now what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this layer so hit Control j on your keyboard and we're going to take the fx icon if you can see this right here this fx icon you're just going to drag this to the trash can to take that off all right now with this layer um we're gonna hit Control t on the keyboard i'm going to just scale this down and now we're going to right click let's go into bundling options Let's go for a gradient overlay, and now you want to select your colors, so I'm going to go for a nice I guess blue color, and I'm just going to double click here, choose the color you want, like so, and now to make this more interesting, we could add in a shadow, um, let's go for the color white right here, and now let's change the blend mode to soft light. Or you could do overlay. Overlay would just be stronger, as you can see. So you go for like an effect like this. Turn it down. You could go for satin as well. Overlay color white. Adjust the distance and size to to something like this. You can also go for bevel and emboss if you want. All right, I'm just going to put this all the way back up. All right, now for the remainder, right here, I'm just going to add a drop shadow to this progress bar like that and uh, that okay now we're gonna take these hold control click so you have both selected uh, we're gonna hit control G to make a group control J to copy that group I'm gonna right click the new group let's hit convert to smart object right here now with this you can copy this so control J move this down and if you hit control U on your keyboard with this you could change the color of your progress bar as you can see um, if you want to adjust it obviously you have to go back into the group all you gotta do is just uh, take the actual bar the color bar right click um, adjust it right click convert to smart object control U and you can change the color as you uh, intend so and uh, yeah that is pretty much it if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like let's try to get 50 likes on this video right here don't forget to check out our store right here we have free templates UIs we have graphics packs we have rigs for your rendering right here as you can see and we also have paid products so if you can do me a favor go ahead and check us out and also join our discord to be a part of the community. With all that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video.